hello guys welcome to my youtube channel uh, i'm making this video today about uh kulfi ice cream uh, i have made it a few times uh, but i have never made a video so this time i'm gonna make a video um kulfi is basically an indian uh ice cream uh, which is popular in nepal as well so i have been eating kulfi ice cream since i was childhood so i really like the flavor the taste of the uh, kulfi ice cream uh, so I'm going to show it how I'm going to make that kulfi ice cream in this video. And uh, I'm making this video in English, full English, no any Nepalese language is used because it's for my one of my friend, well, it's a colleague in my work workplace. She, she makes uh, the mango ice cream that I made. She also tried it at home. So this time I made a kulfi ice cream. She was asking me about how I make it. So uh, this video is for her. So she can see the video and um, um, make herself and try the new Nepalese dish. Well, it's ice cream. So let's go. So the ingredient you need for the kulfi ice cream is the first of all, um, full fat milk, condensed milk. I have used this condensed milk uh, this time because this helps to add extra flavor and your ice cream as well as makes the uh, milk thicker so i have used i'm gonna use um, condensed milk this times i have used some nuts like cashew nuts I've got grated cashew nuts grated almond grated pistachio and grated desiccated coconut so you also need a sugar as for your taste and a little bit of uh, cardamom cardamom uh, seed powder well it's not powder i just grated it i don't i don't want a powder so i just have just grated it and i have already kept milk to boil you can see it already started boiling and when it starts to boil you can see the white stuff thing thick like a creamy thing sticking on the side so you need to just take it off with the help of this lighter and keep it stirring often so that it doesn't stick or burn in the middle don't let it to be burned because that's not good for a kulfi ice cream <laughs> it, it um, taste wise it will be different when it's burned so be careful that it's not burned if you feel like it's getting burned then just turn the heat down and do it slowly and one other other thing is you need to boil until this the amount turns till half so keep boiling and when it's turned half it'll get more thicker as well So don't worry if you don't have any condensed milk you can just eat uh, whole milk and other thing like almond pistachio cashew nuts a little bit of cardamom powder as well if you have cardamom powder you can use it if you don't have cardamom powder just eat the normal cardamom it's not too much just a, just a pinch of that will add an extra flavor on your kulfi after five minutes of boiling now you add the condensed milk condensed milk in it there you go and again stir it properly and keep boiling for another 30 40 minutes approximately it takes that much time to turn into half so now you can uh, add cardamom cardamom powder uh, almond cashew nuts and pistachio and it's 
stir it properly add some coconut as well see you can see start boiling Uh, now I'm gonna use some uh, sugar one two and then stir it properly so you can see that it's a little bit thicker already so I have already turned off the lights and let it be cool down for an hour and then we're gonna put in the freezer so here you go I've already made the um, ice cream popsicles ready for and I have leave this um, cool mixers to cool down a little bit more longer and then I'm gonna fit it up in the all double check right now um this has cooled completely down so i'm gonna pour it in each of these i'm gonna use this plastic uh, uh what do you call this cup. cup yeah to measure not measure to pour it uh, this this one and here you go. don't put it to half just put it into half not half quarter Don't put it to So yes, my popsicles is all ready to go in a freezer and you keep it for 8 to 10 or overnight and we'll be ready to eat. Thank you very much. Wow. Oh, sorry. Oh, no. What is that? Ice cream. What is your favorite ice cream? Oh? It's a boy's orange. 